Welcome to video two in lesson one, words related to shopping. In this video, we are going to learn five new phrasal verbs and example sentences to go with them. Our first one is open up, to remove packaging, to begin business hours or a meeting. Some example sentences include, open up, excuse me, what time will the store open up? Answer, we open up at nine. Example sentence two, we opened up the package in the store to try on the new watch. My son opened up his birthday present. Open up, this store opened up an hour ago. And as you can see, the sign says, come in. It means, that means enter, come in. We're open, were. We are, were. Open, opened up, past tense, opened. Open up, she is opening up the light bulb. And this is used in English for things that are opened up. Uh, when we open packages for holidays, gifts that people get us, or when we need to go to the store and buy something, like a light bulb, we have to open it up. Hang up. To put clothing up higher, or to use a hanger to put a coat, jacket, shirt, dress, blanket, towel, or anything or other clothing on it. Hang up. To end or terminate a phone call or message. Hang up example sentences. Thanks for coming over. Would you like me to hang up your coat? Please put the shirt back on the hanger and hang it up. He hung up the phone on the telemarketer. Hang up. She is hanging up the towels and blankets. Hang up. After trying on five shirts, we chose one and hung up the rest. So the past tense of hang up is hung up. Hang up. Does she need to hang up her phone while driving? Does he need to hang up his phone while driving? Is this safe? In the United States, it is illegal to text and drive at the same time. Do they need to hang up their phones? What do you think? You can email me or comment below and let me know if you think they need to hang up their phones. The next word is go over, to move from one place to another, large or small, to travel over a geographical or physical place or thing. Three, to review a document, article, plan, or resume, or to think about a decision. This word here again is resume, not resume. Example sentences for go over. We went over to grandma's house last weekend. We will go over to the store. And in number, number one, that means to travel. Number two, their airplane went over the Rocky Mountains before landing in Denver. This means to travel, but in a way that you're physically over something else. Just like to travel over a geographical or physical place or thing. Number two here is it went over the thing. So their airplane went over the Rocky Mountains before landing in Denver. And number three, they will probably go over a hundred resumes before making a hiring decision. So here it would mean to review a document, article, plan, or resume, or to think about a decision. And this should say making any hiring decisions or making a hiring decision. So I will edit that. So just know that there's no S here in this sentence. It should be making a hiring decision. So we'll take this and erase that there. <laughs> okay, the next word. More example sentences of go over. They went over to their neighbor's house to help shovel snow. They are shoveling snow, but they had to go from their neighbor's house here. Go over, they went over to help. And if you live in the northern part of the United States where it snows, you may see this. 
go over. I am looking out the window as we go over the mountains. So if you are flying in an airplane, you might go over the mountains and see this beautiful image, especially in Colorado. Another example of go over. He is going over the features of the product. So he's reviewing going over the features of the product to make a sale. And I believe this store is a local um, computer store and um, electronics store in the United States called Best Buy. It's very common. People go there to buy TVs, printer ink, computers, different things uh, related to electronics and some appliances. But he is going over the features of the product. The next one, leave it on. To keep an article of clothing on. Or leave it on. To place or set something down in a specific place. Uh, another word here for to place could be to set something. Example, oh another one is to keep something electrical operating. A machine, computer, car, lights, etc. Did you leave the lights on is a common expression. Here are some example sentences. So just like in picture number one, she left her coat on because it was very cold. Let's go see that again. She left her coat on because it was cold. The second one, where did you put my keys? I left them on the table. On the table, the keys are on the table. And number three, he forgot to turn off the lights. They were left on all weekend. So a question might be, did you leave the lights on? Did you turn off? Another one would be turn off the lights, but he left the lights on. They were left on all weekend. Here's some more example sentences for leave it on. I think I'll leave my jacket on because it's raining outside. The delivery company left my box on the ground outside my apartment door. Left on. And here's the box. See? The delivery company left my box on the ground outside my apartment door. Leave it on. The staff left the security lights on before closing the store. So all the security lights are on before they close the store. Going back to this one, this picture, if I have a box outside my apartment door or house in the United States, I will open my door and pick up the box that was left on the ground. Okay, moving on. Leave it on. They left the lights on. Our next word and final word for this one. Oh, I forgot. We have one more word. Leave it on. We usually leave our lights on during December. This is our last word for this lesson. Take it with. To keep something with you. Take it with. I took my friend with me to go shopping. She took her phone with her before going to the mall. Do you want to take the kids with you? So take with, again, is to keep something with you, uh, nearby with you, or you bring it with you. So here's some more example sentences in English. Take it with. Do you want to take the receipt with you, or would you like it in the bag? This is a very common expression in the United States when you purchase something at any store. Do you want to take the receipt with you, or would you like it in the bag? Let's review our words for this lesson. Open up. Go over. Hang up. Leave it on. Take it with. Listen and repeat one more time. Open up. Hang up. Go over. Leave it on. Take it with. This has been video two in lesson one, phrases related to shopping. In the next video, we will learn the next five phrases in detail.